Yeah. Um, you guys released a, a pretty dramatic video of a backflip, um, and that wasn't recent. I, that was uh, a year ago at least. Yeah. But that that's a, is that a textbook case that you wanted out there for someone for as a warning? Yeah, absolutely. So that that female, she was she was doing a backflip off of a rock, and um, didn't see the boulder in the water, and um, had a severe leg injury as a result of that that event, um, and she was rushed to uh, the, the closest trauma center, which I believe was in Reno, um, and she was going to have a, a long, lengthy recovery because of severe injury. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that video uh, is an example of what not to do? Yeah, you know, um, you should always know what you're, you're jumping into. Um, I have a friend who is a high diver, and he always said, feet first, first time, always. And, you know, if, if you're not sure, like, crawl down to the to the, the the shore there, swim around and see if you can like touch some rocks or something before you go jumping blindly into into a dark piece of water that you don't know what's underneath. And are there particular areas up here where you know, like it looked like that was a very specific waterfall. Yeah. Um, do you know that waterfall? I don't know. Okay. Are there areas here that where you guys are, oh, there it is again, that particular location? Yeah, there's there's a few places um, where, where we respond frequently to Horsetail Falls, which is just to the entrance of uh, South Lake Tahoe. Um, and there's a few other places too, but, um, you know, real easily accessible from the roadway, um, and beautiful, gorgeous views. Um, you know, we had a guy who went to Horsetail Falls and experienced safety guy. He was a fireman and he stuck his feet in the water just to get him wet and the rock was full of moss and he slipped and fell and fell down the waterfall a little ways. Um, and a scenario where here is someone who's, you know, somewhat highly trained, um, got into an accident and, you know, it, uh, water is really strong. You don't know what the, the surface is of, of the rocks you're stepping on and, and slip and fell. Only because I'm going to use that video of the backflip and yeah. I want to play it up, emphasize it, okay. emphasize it more. Um, describe, you know, um, that video. Maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't, but describe that video for us. Yeah. Um, I actually haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't? Okay. Yeah, I've right. seen parts okay. of it, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, so it's a woman backflip flipping, um, and it looks like fun uh, yeah. for, for a daredevil, but this is a daredevil activity, and maybe maybe to, maybe to if I could ask you to, to talk about, you know, we've, we've seen people jumping off or, you know, doing weird things off the underbelly of the of the um, Forest Hill Bridge, for an example. Yeah. These are daredevil type of activities. Yeah. That, you know, the the people that are that are doing these activities are not are, are doing them to be daredevils yeah so maybe from a from a chp public safety perspective you know what, what is your message to the daredevils out there you know there's there's always a, a certain amount of risk with anything that we do in life you know you have to you have to measure the amount of risk with the amount of excitement that you're you're trying to partake in and and, and you really have to weigh is it worth the risk um you know, is there potential for severe injury? Is it something that you shouldn't be doing? Is there another way you can get that same adrenaline rush, but in a safer, safer way? 